Canada's economy is the tenth largest in the world. Canada is among the richest countries in the world. Canada is distinguished among developed countries in the importance of the primary sector, where the wood and oil industries occupy an important place. Canada has a huge manufacturing sector centered in central Canada, where the automobile and aircraft industries play an important role. With its stretch of coast, Canada ranks 8th in the world's fishing and seafood industry. In this video, we will talk about Canada's biggest current and future projects. Please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. Copenhagen Infrastructure Partners CIP, and Greengate Power Greengate, have started in building a 465 MW-691 MW Travers Solar PV project in Canada. Travers is one of Canada's largest solar projects. The total cost of capital is estimated at approximately $569.2 million. The solar power project is located in Vulcan County, Alberta. It aims to equip nearly 1.3 million solar panels. The Traverse Solar Project is expected to create approximately 500 full-time jobs during the construction period and produce enough clean energy to power more than 150,000 homes once it is up and running. The Travers plant is expected to be fully operational by the end of 2022. Modernization and development of this project is currently underway. It cost $104 million and has an estimated area of 335, 650 square feet. Toronto-based SAM Developments is building the complex that will house the Staybridge Suites. The 11-story building has 193 rooms and two underground parking levels. The ground floor will contain a cafe and retail stores, while levels 2 through 4 will include approximately 65,000 square feet of commercial apartments. Dot completion is scheduled for spring 2023. This project is located in Squamish, B.C. It is located on the site of a former pulp mill 7 km southwest of Squamish. Wood Fiber Liquefied Gas LNG, will process natural gas shipped via pipelines from northern Canada. The facility will have a storage capacity of 250,000 cubic meters and will produce about 2.1 million tons of LNG annually. Instead of natural gas, Wood fiber will be powered by electricity from BC Hydro, reducing its emissions by more than 80%. Its estimated cost is $1.6 billion. Oxford Properties plans to redevelop a 3.7 hectare building with a five-tower mixed-use development. The project will include more than 60,000 square meters of office space and 2,700 residential units. The plans for the first phase of the development include a 60-story, 255-meter high tower with 60,000 square meters of office space and 420 apartments. In the future, four residential towers for rent, ranging in height from 45 to 70 floors, will be built. At the moment there is a two-story car garage and three commercial office buildings. An 87-story mixed-use tower with 332 condo units is being proposed at Bay and Blur Streets by Cronenberg Toronto BV and Pro Winco. At 324 meters in height, it will be the tallest building in Canada. The building will have 1,097 square meters of retail space and 9,516 square meters of office space. There is an existing 12-story commercial office building on the site that will need to be demolished. The developers are seeking to rezone the property to allow for the build. The building has been designed by Herzog and Demurin, and the local architect for the project is Quadrangle. Mod Developments Incorporated is building a 48-story condo tower known as 55C Bloor Yorkville Residences, on Charles Street East in the heart of Toronto. The project will have 551 condo units in a mix of one, two and three bedroom suites. 
along with two floors of amenities spanning 20,000 square feet. The building was designed by architects, Alliance and will be defined by its building block pattern of balconies, clad in stone, glass and stainless steel. While newer buildings in the area are primarily glass with white balconies. The completion date for the project is fall 2023. The Jordi Howe International Bridge will cross the Detroit River between southwest Detroit and Windsor, Ontario. The bridge is approximately 2.5 kilometers long, and has three lanes bound for Canada and three lanes bound for the United States. The project includes a clear area of 850 meters around the river, without creating piers in the water. Once completed, the structure will be among the five longest bridges in North America. Project cost, $4.8 billion. It will be completed in 2023. Construction is underway on Toronto's Eglinton Cross Town LRT, a 19-kilometer light rail line, comprising of 15 underground stations and 10 at-grade surface stops. Running along Eglinton from Weston Road to Kennedy Station, the cross town will run underground for more than 10 kilometers. The transit service will link to 54 bus routes, 3 TTC subway stations and GO Transit. The Crosstown is the largest transit expansion project in Toronto's history. Project cost, $5.3 billion it will be completed in 2021. Ontario Power Generation is refurbishing four steam turbines, generator units and associated auxiliary equipment at the Darlington site. More than 100 Ontario-based companies are participating in the renovation project. The project will extend the life of the Kandu pressurized heavy water nuclear power plant by 30 years. The Darlington power plant produces about 20% of Ontario's electricity. Project cost, $12.8 billion. This project will be completed in 2026. Ottawa Phase 2 LRT will add three rail extensions in the eastern, western and southern regions of the city. The Trillium Line South will create 12 kilometers of new railways and seven new stations. Project cost, $3.6 billion it is expected to be completed in 2023. In your opinion, which of these projects would be the best in Canada? And here we come to the end of the video, do not forget to subscribe and press the bell.